All right, welcome back. Um, going through this walkthrough again. Welcome to, welcome back to Noir Thursday. Um, Just thought we could have a little. Oh, all right. Make it. Okay. Uh. Do these mean anything to you? <laughs> well, it could be the work of a plaster surgeon. A plaster surgeon? Yeah. They're cosmetic surgeons for trolls. Some trolls on the run wants to change his face. Well, he goes to a plaster surgeon. The watch would like to get their hands on any plaster surgeons working in Angmore Park, I can tell you. Don't you want to know where I got them? Ah, uh, they're just some plaster soaked bandages. Why would I be interested? Nobby, do you ever actually do any detective work? Well, I'm only a corporal. I'm beginning to understand how detritus got to be sergeant. I, I gotta stop here. I need you. Do you recognize this pendant? It is an ambiguous Puzuma talisman. What does it do? It keeps away ambiguous Puzumas. Does it work? I don't see any Puzumas around here, do you? <laughs> I walked right into that, didn't I? Okay, if I remember, that will be the title of this video. Any reason you can think of why a person would keep an empty envelope safe? <laughs> Just because it looks empty doesn't mean it is. There could be a hyperspatial vortex in there, a link to some trans-dimensional cache. Nope. I'm pretty sure it's just an empty envelope. Yeah. During the uh, first, during the previous, the last week's gameplay, I wasn't having any issues with the voices in the game coming through April's um, audio. Well, now they are, for whatever reason. What do these bandages mean to you? It looks like a jelly baby in Mummy's burial wrap. And the plaster? Perhaps he's been decorating. Yeah, now Eclipse is just fun to listen to. You wanted to see me. I tried to reach you at the mansion, but you're never around when I need you. You never need me when I'm around. A funny thing happened to me the other day. You arranged all this just to tell me an anecdote? It's a funny little story. I think you'll like it. I'm listening. The other night, someone stuck a sword through my ribs. Ah, it must have been someone who knew you well. The thing is, not long afterwards, I was in my coffin thinking about it when I realized I wasn't dead. That was lucky. Luck was not a factor. Why did you do it, Carlotta? Do what? Make me a werewolf. If I hadn't, you'd be dead. Would you prefer that? That's not the point, and you know it. You did something to me that was going to change who I was for the rest of my life, and you didn't even tell me. I didn't think you'd understand. Besides, it wasn't as if I planned it. Are you telling me you turned me into a werewolf by accident? How long have you been a werewolf now? Not long. Have you felt what it's like? That force that pulls on you, that draws your attention to every jugular, pulsing with life? The irrepressible call of fresh blood? A sudden attention to the phases of the moon? I have to fight to keep control. We all do. Coming to a city of a million people, it's like a starving monkey wandering into a banana plantation. You learn to live with it. And you decided to infect me with lycanthropy? Infect is such a negative word. I prefer blessed. You think this is a gift? Of course it's a gift. It's the greatest gift I could give to someone. And I chose you. Why? You're a smart man, Luton. Figure it out. The person who killed Mundy hung him upside down and poked his eyes out. 
Can you think of any reason they might have done that? What? No. Why should I? Well, you knew Monday. I didn't. I thought you might have an insight on it that I didn't. Did you kill Mundy? What? What do you think I am, Luton? It's got nothing to do with what I think of you, Carlotta. But the Watch are investigating, and if they find out about your connection with Mundy, you're bound to be a suspect. So why are you asking me if I did it? Let's just call it professional curiosity. If I had done it, would you turn me in? That depends. On what? On why you did it. You don't strike me as a moralist, Luton. I'm a simple man, Carlotta. I have simple ideas of what's right and what's wrong. The trouble is, things are seldom that simple. It's always somewhere in the middle ground. I try not to jump to conclusions. In my line of work, that can get you killed. That must be a tremendous incentive to think everything through. I do my best. You still haven't answered my question. I didn't kill him, Luton, if that's what you really want to know. Do you have an alibi? I told her when the murder took place and asked her if she had an alibi. I wasn't surprised when she did. Frankly, I reckon I could have said any day and any time and she'd have had an alibi. She was that kind of woman. There are witnesses who can corroborate where I was. And where were you? I was in the Temple of Small Gods. Spend a lot of time on your knees, do you, sister? We all need a little absolution. For your sins? Everything I do is a sin in someone's eyes. I keep thinking I've seen this conversation before, but I, I just don't really remember when. What do you really know about Al Kali? He works with Horst, and that's about all I know. With him or for him? It's hard to say. Are you working with me or for me? I'm working in spite of you. Do you know a woman named Ilsa or a man named Two Conquers? Be careful, Luton. So, Level, what do you really know about the counterweight killings? Nothing, I swear. I swear all the time. But that doesn't mean you can trust me. Reagan's dead. I'm not surprised. You don't seem to care. Everybody dies, Luton. Mundy, Reagan, even you. What's your point? No point. That's just life. Where were you when Reagan was killed? When was he killed? Shortly after dropping you off at the Temple of Small Gods. Well, there's your answer then. I told Carlotta when Malachite was murdered and asked her where she was at the time. I was at a service then. Why do you ask? A service? I happen to enjoy services. I bet I would, too. Why don't you invite me to one? I wouldn't be allowed to bring an unbeliever. How do you know I'm an unbeliever? I doubt you believe in anything. A man can change. Don't you have a recruitment policy? I'd rather not talk about religion. It's such a controversial subject. I can't help but notice that your recurring alibi for the murders is that you were at the Temple of Small Gods. Everyone needs a little solace now and then. You seem to need it a lot. I'm not easily satisfied. Which god is it that you worship? I really don't like to discuss religion. Come on. I only want to know the name. All right. Her name is Errata. But I don't appreciate you prying into my spiritual affairs like this. Can I pry into your physical affairs? My affairs are never just physical. I bet you say that to all the boys. Well, I was actually looking at the watch and not paying him attention to the audio. Tell me about this goddess, Errata. I already told you, I don't like to talk about religion. She's not like Arm, then. Om? Um? He's the god of Omnia. Is that the place with the Quisition? All the overzealous holy wars and torches? It used to be. They had some kind of reformation, and now they're just overzealous about singing rousing hymns and distributing fundamentalist pamphlets in the street. Well, that's a kind of torture all of its own. You're telling me. I got cornered by one of them last week. How do you think I know so much about it? 
It was three hours before I could get them to leave. Thumbscrews would have been quicker, at least. That's kind of weird, and saw that little goof right there. Can I go back to all this again? Two copters. Tell me about Horst. What's to tell? He's a treasure hunter, as ruthless as they come. He'd sell his own mother to get what he wanted. Rumor has it that he pushed his father off the mountain when he was just a pebble. Have you had any dealings with him in the past? Occasionally. Horst is the kind of troll you try not to work with unless you really have to. Have you seen anything strange around town recently? What kind of strange? A little birdie eater told me that Malachite was killed by something bestial. A werewolf? I don't think so. Whatever, it was vicious. You don't think werewolves are vicious? You should hear my aunt talk about me behind my back. I think whatever this thing is, it's more powerful than just a werewolf. Wow, the, uh, the house and my computer are running pretty strong. So level with me. What do you really know about the counterweight killings? Nothing, I swear. I swear all the time. But that doesn't mean you can trust me. Do you know anything? No, I... Do you know? Have you heard... Sorry, Lute. I'm not an expert. Have you heard of the temple? I'm sure you can think of... Where can I find you? I'll be around. That's not very helpful. What can I say? I go where I want to, with anybody I want. I just happen to be that kind of girl. This isn't over, Carlotta. I hope not. We don't have to be enemies, Luton. We'll never be friends. Let's not fight, Luton. We can work together, recover the sword together. I don't know who you are anymore. I'm the same girl I ever was, Luton. It's you that's changed. You're telling me. You know, Luton, you don't have to work with me. You don't have to say anything, and you don't have to do anything. Not a thing. Oh, maybe just howl. You know how to howl, don't you, Luton? You just pull your jaws apart and blow. After Carlotta had left, I sat alone in the cafe, thinking about my problems. As bad as it seemed, my life was still better than it was a few years ago. Back then, I would have sat alone in the cafe, drinking through my problems. Some ale, Mr. Luton. A clue earlier, if you remember, was we're talking quite a bit about wine barrels, and there were a bunch of them at the Patrician's Palace. You hear a lot of talk around here, Samael. Have you heard anything about the counterweight killings? Oh, yeah. I've heard the talk. It's making the customers nervous. What do they say? Just rumors. You know how rumors spread. Well, let me know if you hear anything that has the ring of truth to it. Have you heard about the murder of one of the patrician's clerks? Sure thing. I was interviewed by the watch about it. You? Why? He was the clerk in charge of the palace stores. He was the one who bought the wine for the palace. Really? So do you know anything about the murder? No. Sorry. But there should be someone here from the palace any moment now to collect the next shipment. You could ask them. I guess I could. But I doubt they'd tell me anything. Do you know anything about the murder up at Unseen University? No. Sorry. Don't you get wizards in here? You're just around the corner from the university. No, we don't get wizards here. 
The wizards preferred amended drum and uh, other noisy establishments. What about the other staff? Well, some of the other staff do call in every now and then. I guess the closest to a regular would be Cassandra, but she's not working there at the moment. At the moment? She quits her job occasionally, but she always goes back. The university pays her a good wage for what she does. Which is? Mainly laundry and a bit of dusting. If the pay is good, why does she keep quitting? She doesn't get on with a head chambermaid up at the new hall. Why? Mrs. Foams has a bad reputation as someone to work with. I heard that a merchant was murdered. You wouldn't know anything about it, would you, Samael? A merchant? I think you better ask at a less reputable establishment. I could get into trouble suggesting that something was up in the Merchant's Guild. Why? The cafe is part of the Merchant's Charter. The Merchant's Charter? It just means that if we're found to have caused any bad publicity for the city or the guild, they send someone round to smash the windows. Doesn't that cause bad publicity? I'd uh, rather not pursue that uh, interesting point. Well, we got the big clue right there to tell us what to do. Most of the wine barrel. I didn't really need a wine. I had a long wait, but it paid off. Just took in the thing and have to pull. Good thing nothing was tacked on top of that. The guys carry it. No, I already get the really. Oh, oh nice to lay on there. But I always get the really heavy ones, too. The storeroom was filled with boxes of food and supplies. I guess even the patrician had to eat every now and then. I couldn't think of anything useful to do with the boxes. I could hear a conversation on the other side of the door, but I couldn't quite make out what was being said. The only noticeable scent in the hallway was someone's trail which led to the double doors. The double doors were more stately than the others leading from the hall. I reckon that it led to the oblong office, the patrician's personal sanctum. As a wolf, my hearing was dramatically improved. I could recognize one of the voices as Commander Vimes, and the other voice had the calculating tones of Lord Vetinari, the patrician of Ankh Morpork. Are you any closer to a solution for our mutual problem? No, sir. I've been occupied. Indeed. And what could occupy you? There was a string of copycat killings. I've been trying to solve them. And have you? No. My lead suspect was killed. Hmm. That is very unfortunate. It certainly was for Luton. So there has been no progress in determining who killed Cypher? Not as such. I had been given to understand that this was precisely the situation you were well equipped to handle. I will solve this case, sir. You can count on me. Do you recall what I said the city reminds me of? You said it reminds you of a clock, sir. Indeed. Big wheels and little wheels, all turning at different speeds to 
keep the machine working. That, after all, is the most important thing. The machine keeps going. You've told me this before. Do you know why it keeps working? Because you want it to keep working? I'm flattered that you think I have such importance. But no, it keeps running because the people believe it will keep running. Faith is a powerful force. There is a point to this, sir? I always have a point. Sometimes it's sharper than others. I'm sorry. Continue. One of my clerks has been found face down in a vat of wine, and that makes it appear as if the administration has lost control. And the administration is me, right? We are all the administration. You do the work, and I take both the credit and the blame. Provided I do not take the blame, I am content. I trust I make myself clear. Perfectly. Suddenly, I could smell blood. It filled up my senses like a night in a forest. Except a night in a forest didn't make me want to tear someone's throat out. I didn't know whether the guard had cut himself or if I was just developing a healthy bloodlust, like any young werewolf. But I couldn't control myself. The next thing I knew, I was in my office. I had no idea how I got there, how I got my coat out of the palace, or where I'd got a traffic cone from. It had been that sort of night. I was sitting at my desk, thinking over the case, when there was a knock at the door. I understand you've been a busy boy, Luton. It's a busy life when you're a private investigator. Plus, you get to see interesting foreign places and learn a trade. There was a commotion at the palace last night. Perhaps you know about it? What goes on at the palace has nothing to do with me. Indeed it is not. And if for some reason you did take an interest in the palace, I'm sure you would not be so foolish as to be caught breaking into the palace. Of course not. Think I'm suicidal? Strange you should say that. I heard you'd been killed. I expect you hear a lot of things that aren't true. I bet someone has to explain them to you using very small words. The thing is, the intruder at the palace appears to have been a werewolf. There's a lot of that around this time of year, I understand. Must be the moon. I paid my respects to your grave. Oh, that was nice of you. It was empty. Oh, you know how it is. I get claustrophobic in narrow spaces. So do werewolves, perhaps? I wouldn't know about that. Remember when I said how disappointed I was that I couldn't take you out for free? Oh, that was a very touching sentiment. Well, Lord Vetinari has generously offered to pay for the inhumation of last night's intruder. He has a big heart. It's a shame no one can find it. Was there a point to your visit? Uh -huh, uh -huh. I was just passing through. Thought you might benefit from my advice. How generous of you. Well, I'll be on my way. The door's behind you. I can explain how to use it if you want. Watch your steps, Luton. I will be. One if I can go back and it passed us have walked to us there's like some more conversation going on. Who would say I like oh, to see not this, this time? time. I didn't think I could risk breaking into the palace that way again. Not w Well, I guess it, uh, according to the walkthrough, it's back to the Octarine Parrot.
My usual, please. Loot, Luton, your... What? Is my tie not done up straight? Is there an unfortunate mark on my nose? I heard you were dead. Perhaps I am. Get me a stiff drink. How about a whiskey? Don't you want something with it? All right, put another whiskey in there. Drinking like that will kill you. I'm dead already. You didn't come back here to drink, did you? Have you heard of the counterweight killings? You mean, have I heard that there's an unstoppable assassin from the counterweight continent in Ankh-Morpork, and he's slaying everyone and everything that gets in his way? If you like. Haven't heard a thing. Apparently one of the wizards up at Unseen University got themselves killed. That's right. The reader of esoteric accounting or something. Esoteric occultism, yeah. How did you know that? I was speaking to Mrs. Forms earlier. Mrs. Foams? She's the head chambermaid up at the new hall. One of the halls of residence? Yeah, the big one that runs off from the huge library. What did she have to say? Just that this wizard had died in mysterious circumstances. Although she sounded like mysterious circumstances are pretty normal up there. It'd be a nice change if someone died in unmysterious circumstances for a change. Can't be easy working at the university. You couldn't pay me enough to make me work there. Oh, no. No amount of money would make you work there. Well, obviously not a huge amount. For enough money, I'd do anything. Anything? Well, not involving fish, broccoli, or vinegar. I hear a prominent merchant has been killed. Heard anything about it? All I heard was that someone in the merchant's guild got killed. That's all I know. I decided not to bore Mankin with the details of the murders. It was probably bad enough to have had one in his establishment without me going on about it, tempting though it was to watch the little rat squirm. Wanted, bed maker and laundry man for Unseen University. Two dollars for each day survived. Contact Mrs. Foams at the new hall. I couldn't imagine who would pay attention to the notices in a seedy dive like the parrot, but I guess they were of interest to someone. The cyan sten... Dark cyan was the most prevalent smell in the dressing room. There was a booming bass quality to the scent. There was a hint of an apple-colored scent in the air. Well... I did a play tour of this game and last month for let or for January and I'm Arya was completely messed up and I guess I had not got into here yet. Oh, about 28 minutes. Great place to stop. <laughs> <laughs>